Hi guys, welcome to September's Paint Night with Plaid. We have a very special guest tonight, the original creator of Folk Art One Stroke, Donna Dewberry. Hi guys. <laughs> Woo! We're all very excited. And if you are brand new to Paint Night with Plaid, it's where we teach you to paint a painting in about an hour. We're going to be using Folk Art acrylic paints and Folk Art one stroke brushes. We're painting Pick of the Patch tonight, so we're hoping you are going to be getting in the mood and ready for fall all in cozy. And Donna, everyone is so happy to have you, so Thank I'm very you. excited. Thank you. And those of you that do not know what Folk Art one stroke is, um, Donna, why don't you tell everybody just a little bit about it and then we'll get started because we have a lot to teach you this okay, hour. Okay, okay. You know what, guys, I have seven children, and when I was raising those children, I'm like, I wanted to learn how to paint so bad, and you don't have to draw. Lots of people say, um, I can't even draw a stick figure. Well, you're the ones for me, because let me tell you what, you don't, know, you don't have to know how to draw because we blend shade and highlight in one stroke, and that's where we came up with our name. So I created it at my dining room table. I couldn't go take classes, but you guys can do it online, so how cool is this? I love it. Right. So we're you're ready to paint? We're ready to paint. Okay. And if you are tuning in, if you have questions, we'll try to take a peek and answer them live with Donna. If not, we'll get to them right after the broadcast. And don't forget to hashtag your paintings and share them with us with hashtag paint with plaid. And you can check out more content from Donna and plaid and folk art one stroke on our YouTube channel or Facebook page, plaid crafts. So right. there you go, Donna, let's okay. get started. Alrighty, we're using the best paint. I love this folk art multi-surface and you're gonna love it too when you find out everything we can do with it. But the first thing I wanna do is start with laying out our pumpkin. So everybody, all you need is a pencil and this is a cool surface. You could paint on this side or this side. So what's really fun about it is I chose this side and it's going to absorb the paint really well because it's raw wood, so it's really fun. And this is a plaid project too, so a surface I love. All right, so now I want you to look down here and see where we're at. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is see we're going to be over here on the corner. So I, I have a little bit of space here, and it's not even a finger's worth right here, okay? But if I take my hand and spread it out, that's how wide this is going to be. It's going to be a good four finger spread on one side, but this pumpkin is going to be really wide. See, from my little finger to my thumb. All right. So what we're going to do is little finger to thumb. We're going to put a mark right here with my pencil. I'm going to make it dark so you can see, but you don't have to make it that dark. And then we're going to come over here. All right. So then I'm going to find out. I'm going to do the same exact thing high, but I want to come up a little bit right here. All right, so all the way up to here. And that's gonna be the shape of our pumpkin. If you're at home and you wanna just put a, a plate from your kitchen or a bowl, you can get that shape too. But I want you to see that these four marks, five fingers, five fingers, and we're ready to go. All right, so I'm gonna take and just round this off here. I'm gonna do it dark so you can see. And you can also watch this again afterwards. So we love that because you can do that right on plaid site. And I'm going to come right in here and pencil here. Now you don't have to worry about because the background is going to cover any rough pencil lines. So you don't have to have an eraser. All right. So we do it fun, quick, and easy. I want you to think about that when you're doing this. So look, it's just round. I've got a little bit of shape, but before I go too far on this shape, I want you to see that I'm going to come down in here about two to three fingers into my pumpkin. And I'm going to, you know, the pumpkin has little sections. So I'm going to do this curved, curved. Okay, that's not too much drawing. See? One, two, three. All right. And so let's do one more. Now, what we're going to do is come up and up, and there's our stem. All right. So we're just curving it and curving it. Now that little stem is gonna make a big difference. So it's scalloped. And what's gonna happen on those scallops is I'm just gonna curve it and that's gonna be those segments of the pumpkin. See that? So back here, I'm gonna take away cause I don't want that to be there. And you can see if you come over here, you can curve it right there. So I'm erasing this just so you can see, but you don't need to cause we're gonna put paint there. So this is going to give us a nice shape and that's how we have to do to get this placement before we start putting our background on. And the background is going to be so fun. You're going to love it. All right. So I'm not going to worry about the stem too much. Everybody got a round pumpkin on there with a stem. 
It can be a straight stem. It doesn't have to be my stem, but I want you to have fun while you're doing it. And I'm only going to pick up these great background colors. And I had some of you that were worried. I need to see this as we're going. Some of you were worried that you didn't have the background colors that we needed. But let me tell you, I'm using patina. This is folk art multi-surface. My, I love, love, love. I'll tell you about all the surfaces in a few minutes. But I have patina. But you can have a soft blue. I've got um, soft apple, and I love those shades because I thought they were really yummy and different than the traditional Thanksgiving or Halloween. And I have no brushes. <laughs> Wait a minute, I gotta get my brushes, oh, but I want to show you. Some brushes that for us. There you go. <laughs> Donna, there you go. Okay, thank you. All right, that might be my fault, huh? All right, so I'm gonna wet my brush first. And we're gonna use a big three quarter inch brush, all right? These are my one stroke brushes and they have great, great spring on these, so you're gonna love them. All right, so look at this. I'm not going in the middle of my paint. I'm gonna grab from here and I'm gonna act like you guys know nothing about painting, okay? So I'm gonna pull from both sides. I got one color, one color, and we're gonna slip slap and we're gonna start at the top and we're gonna get darker as we come down, all right? So this is what we're gonna do. Can you all see that? Yeah. I'm going to go back and forth on the corners. See this corner? Everybody look real quick at the corners. So what we're going to do is go back and forth, back and forth. And you, I don't want you to do it until you don't see those colors. Look, oops, excuse me, look real quick. Can you see all the bright colors? Yeah, do you want to see aqua and, and teal? You're using they patina see and soft apple for the background. Yes. Okay, so you're going to go back and forth, and I'm not going to do the sides right now myself, but you just, this is going to go on the side the same way that we're doing here. So I don't want any wood showing, so, but I don't want you, what I'm trying to say is don't blend it till you don't, until it's one color. That's what kids do. They like to go all muddy it up. <laughs> I, w I want you to not blend it, over blend it. That's the key. And then, see, I'm going to go around the stem. And it's OK. The pumpkin's going to go right on top of this color. So you don't have to be perfect. See? Go ahead. You got a question? Yeah. Well, and I was going to say, if you're just tuning in, Donna, as you're painting the background, we are live with Donna Dewberry, the original creator of Folk Art One Stroke. And we are learning to paint Pick of the Patch in about an hour. We're using Folk Art multi-surface acrylic paints and Folk Art One Stroke brushes. And we have a beautiful color palette, like Donna mentioned, that we have some unexpected fall pops of color. We've got soft apple and patina with these really pretty oranges and yellows and greens. And this is so exciting to have Donna here. And well, thank you. everybody on <laughs> Facebook is so excited. Awesome Yay. watching her live. I've been painting for years. I have all your tools. Oh, thank you. And the tools we can go ahead and mention while you're still working on your background. Um, Donna, you have some personally designed tools that you created with plaid and I just okay, want to show everybody what these are. Okay, you guys keep flip flapping and down to here so you got that area to go. And I'm going to share with you that I made, you remember the wicker picnic, bath, picnic um, trays that we used to stick our phone, our paper plates in, not phone plates. Well, I designed that just like this so we could pop this in here. And I use paper and now we use foam. And we put that in there. We can put our medium and our water in here. This holds our paper towel. I made it left-handed, right-handed. How cool is that? So this is our palette. And then I have a double loader and I've got one to show you here that I made to go inside this. So this pops right in here, spins, and it's got my floating medium, it's got my colors. And later I'm gonna show you how to double load with this. So this goes into here. And let me show you something really fun about this is that I have a lid that goes on to this and you just match it up you wet your sponge you put a penny so it doesn't mold that little, oh I didn't know that trick a little old lady told me that and I oh. love it okay so you close it up and people I use my paint really quick but how many of you squirt out all your paint and you get a phone call and you got to run out so I made this so you can just pop it over over it. and they've gone 30 days and it's still you know ready it's still moist and ready okay so and then we've got this paint so let me share with you you guys are busy getting this all done all right so I'm gonna move it up so we can look at the bottom here but this paint multi-surface is my favorite and I almost don't use any other kind I know that's probably not a good thing to say out loud but it's true because I use it on glass metal ceramic multi-surface is exactly what it is now I'm gonna come right in here let's get some brown now 
all right? Multi-surface will go glass, ceramic, canvas. I use it indoor, outdoor, and it's got a sealant in it. You don't have to worry about it. So how fun is that? Okay, so now look at this. We're gonna take this dirty brush, everybody with me? Mm -hmm. We have a dirty brush. We're gonna grab our brown, just brown. All right, so we're gonna graduate into dark. So I'm gonna go right here. Now, I want you to see how I blend this, all right? Now, I can still come in with some, a little bit of the blue into there, but look, I'm gonna come all around. And don't worry, remember I told you, you don't have to worry about this edge because we're gonna make the pumpkin with that. So if you're out there and you've never painted before, I think you're gonna have fun. And if you're out there and you painted with me before, you are gonna have a fun little project to do with, with your friends and with your kids. I love doing this. Um, so I want you to see that you've gotta be loose, really loose. Are you taking a deep breath and you're relaxing? That's what I want. All right, so I'm gonna come over here. How many of you guys out there are good? Are we together? Everybody doing good? Are we good? Someone asked what kind of paint. So we are using Folk Art Multi-Surface Acrylic Paint. And it's acrylic. It looks like oils, but it's luscious. It's got a sealer. It's got a great sheen on it. You're going to love, love, love it. So see, I just put that dark brown there. And see, it's got a little bit of a shine. So I want you to, s there we go. Can you see? All right, now I want that a little bit darker. I want it richer. Now look what happens here. So what I did in here is I got darker here with some black and I came up a little bit under the, under the sunflower, okay? All right, so let's come in here and just, I always multi-load the brush. So I have brown and a little bit of black. Don't go crazy with the black at first until you kind of see. So I can get rid of some of the black over here first. Okay, back and forth. We're slip slapping back and forth. And I want to see textures, so that's a good thing. So I'm going to get brown. Can they see this palette or no? All right, so I'm going to get brown and some black. All right. I guess I'll move it over yeah, here. Scoot. And I love that you're not washing your brush. That no. is a part of it. No, no, no. The deal is that we're multi-layering color. And you don't ever get the same color again because we're taking and putting all kinds of paint on our brush at the same time. And that's the part, the yummy part of this is that you're feeling very artsy. <laughs> How many of you feel very artsy right now? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Anybody out there not painted before? Yes. Yeah, yeah see. Will, can you guys get a, so we've got a room full here that are all excited to paint with Donna. Some have never painted before, some are experts. But Donna, like you said, if you've never picked up a paintbrush, you can do this and you're going to get a beautiful painting. Yeah, and I'm the one for you, because let me tell you, you one are. stroke technique will make it so you feel success. People look at it and say, oh my gosh, you didn't tell me you're an artist. And that right that moment, you're just gonna go, oh my goodness, how can I do that? And I learned that a little bit that quick. All right, so see, it's got depth. You want depth here. You got pretty yummy colors up here. And now I'm gonna put it up closer because I want you to see. See that brown, that brown blended, there we go. It blends into this wet paint. Now that will not blend, it'll look harsh if you don't put a ton of the paint. I, I didn't wash out the light green paint, I put the light green with the brown that blended that, then I put black into the wet brown, and I had all that on the brush at the same time, okay? So how fun is that? It's awesome. So there's our shading, all right? See, and we can come back later, but I kinda like to put a little bit up along the pumpkin. We don't have questions out there. Come on, guys. We do. Well, everybody is just so happy. Oh, good. Donna, everybody is high. We love you. So cool. Oh, I want to watch it later and do this. So everybody, tell us where you're watching from. What's your favorite thing to paint? Where, you know, make sure when you do your painting that you hashtag paint with plaid so we can share and like your paintings that you're doing. This is such an oh, amazing yeah, opportunity to, to paint with Donna. <laughs> like this is happening in real time and we're all it's here, fun. which is awesome. Well, I teach online at night and what, what I love about you guys watching this and I told a bunch of my, my viewers, if you come on and watch this, if you've been afraid to go online, let me tell you, this is what it looks like. The camera's right there. Like, it's like you're right here. It's closer than if you're sitting We're in the We're so high tech, Donna. I know. How, <laughs> hey, listen, I have three cameras. I told y'all that all my buddies <laughs> earlier today. You gotta come out and watch it. So much fun. Okay, I'm gonna wash my brush out. And I think everybody's looking like yeah. they're getting close out so there. So we can say hi, Sharon, Teresa, Michelle, Pat, Fran, Lisa, Joan. This is just the bottom of the comments. So hi, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in to Paint Night with Plaid. 
we're painting Pick of the Pumpkin or Pick of the Patch with Donna Dewberry, the original creator of Folk Art One Stroke. So she is a legend, a celebrity. We are so excited to have you. you. And um, I hope everybody's enjoying. You got your favorite beverage. Internationally what? known, Libby said. Um, everybody is super excited. I hope you're with your friends or relaxing. Oh yeah, this is fun being here. Listen, I flew all the way here to Plaid just as, I mean, they asked me as a guest, I'm so thrilled. My favorite place in the whole world. I talked about being here over 20 years. I'm telling you, we are a huge family here at Plaid and we create the best products in the industry. And when I say one stroke, we need this for one stroke, guess what, we get that. And so what other company does that from videos to, to they've done books in the past for me all kinds of wonderful things for you if you're out there and you want to learn how to paint to have the best product and my brushes what's wonderful about the brushes is they make our brushes so they have a great if you don't if you have a craft brush and you're out there with some craft brush without a nice chisel and all you can't paint well if you have that so you want to have good products and we make the products at a great price for you so I'm not trying to sell you I'm trying to get you to start painting all right so come to YouTube to Plaid Online Plaid Online? Plaid Online, our Plaid um, YouTube page. Yes. So Plaid Crafts on YouTube or on Facebook. And you can check out more content. You can check out more things from Donna, more inspiration. And I have Donna Dewberry One Stroke. No, Donna Dewberry YouTube. Yes. I have a Donna Dewberry YouTube station so you can, a channel, a whole channel that you can come do all kinds of more with, with our Plaid product. All right. So let me show you what we're going to do next. So I think everybody's kind of ready right okay so here's our pumpkin this is gonna be fun but this is what most people do most people go like this and they and they push down like this all right what we want to do is we want to pick up a couple of colors at the same time see how much paint lots of paint all right so we're gonna lay this on now the most important part is I want a nice smooth edge and so I'm gonna lay my brush down all right now this isn't hard, come on, look at this. I'm laying it flat, and I'm going around flat around the edge. But, but if you kind of lay your brush, it lays the paint instead of picking the paint back up. And this raw wood makes it really nice because multi-surface goes right on that. Now look at this, we're gonna come on this side. All right, but you can come back up. Am I, can y'all see that? Okay, so look, I'm getting my first outside line of orange all right yep. so i oozed out here a little bit which will be fine that's okay and while you do that donna people are asking what colors you're using so okay hello i'm sorry that's okay <laughs> i've got pure orange yep. and i've got daffodil yellow perfect so if you're out there and you don't have those two exact colors i was telling people that most people have orange if they knew we were going to paint a pumpkin but <laughs> how many of you have seen white pumpkins that are out there right now and bright green with white and there's aqua pumpkins there's all kinds for your decor so um, now i'm going all the way around now some of this is going over but you know what i'm going to go touch it up later with these dark colors it'll be easy all right so this is simple so far how are we doing over there Joel, are you getting your pumpkin? John? Doing all right. All right. I'm going to ask these guys. We like the guys in here. We always have lots of ladies. The man crafter. Yeah. I say we all, always have to have a token male here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, so see how I laid this and I have some yellow on the inside? All right. Now, I'm going to clean this up later because it went over the black a little bit, but it's good. All right. Y'all got that first? I need to see yellow and orange. Do I see yellow and orange on yours? Yep. All right, so now I'm gonna go pick up more. Now this, this palette's made so you can load in between, and then if you're trying to work that in, which the sunflowers we will be, um, then you're gonna come over here and work it, and I'll show you that later, okay? So now what we're gonna do is come right here, and look, I'm gonna lay this down right here, all the way down to the dimple at the bottom. See how I just go right back over it to smooth it? Because we're using so much paint. But there's a segment already of our pumpkin. So you make it look so easy with your Thank brushes, you. the paint, and then the double loader even does more work for you, right? Yes. And so listen, 
What I do is I teach you I teach you how to paint in a very simple way where you have instant success and you blend shade and highlight with one stroke. So look at that. It blends from dark to light. Now traditionally people will go in here and they base coat it all yellow mm -hmm. and then they come back and they put a little bit of orange with medium or water and float it. Well if you don't know how to float and don't know how to do all that, I didn't even know what the terminology was when I looked at a craft book. <laughs> so what I did was I say one, two, three, four, <laughs> put all this paint on your brush at one time and I thought I was painting like everybody else and guess what? I created a new technique with my seven children at my dining room table. And you Plaid, created a movement. <laughs> I know, and Plaid found me. So we literally are all over the world now. How cool is that? Awesome. And Plaid's taken me to places I never dreamed of going to with my art. So now, look, see the little segments? You can have three segments. You can have six seg segments. It's whatever you want in yours. And I'm going to pull down right here and fill in the last little bit. Cool. All right. So Donna, Lori wants to know what is your favorite fall item to paint? My favorite fall, well, I end up painting more pumpkins than anything, but <laughs> I have to tell you what this shows. I put pumpkins and little white blossoms and little green leaves and I stack pumpkins at, um, at the front door. I do scarecrows that are really cute, the pumpkins they had, and then we put straw, all kinds of fun. I love holidays. Who doesn't love holidays? I mean, and it's going to feel like winter. So I thought this would inspire you. I even got a long sleeve shirt on today, so I feel inspired for that season. Yeah, it's 90 degrees here in Atlanta, everybody. So, and, but and we are Flor hoping for fall weather soon. <laughs> and Florida is worse. So, <laughs> <laughs> except I think there's hurricanes and stuff. All right. So, all right. So we don't want to touch that for a few minutes, but we have some other stuff to do. Okay. So, how many of you? have ever dreamed that you could actually paint something to give as a gift. And the thing is, is I did one little thing that you would like. I, t I told you there's all these things that you can paint on. Well, I started painting five years ago on greeting cards. And with 26 grandbabies and all the spouses and all, I have a lot of cards to purchase. And I make money and save money with one stroke with painting because I'm creating, it's like therapy. And I said it's better than drugs and then I have to tell you we have all these kids that I send the greeting cards to and by the time you get through painting a lot of greeting cards not only have you saved money but you taught yourself how to paint so it's really fun and in the comfort of your home that's what's beautiful about having these videos that Plaid has online and wonderful um, it's on Facebook right? Plaid Crafts on Facebook. Yes. Plaid Crafts Facebook. We were trying to tell everybody how to get there today, and I was like, okay, I need to be better at this. Okay, so now I'm going to do the stump, all right? And sometimes I've done those brown, sometimes I curl them, but we're just going to take our 12 flat, and we're going to get, we're just going to pick up the brown, all right? And then, are we using bark brown, right? Yes, yes, bark, bark brown. brown. All right, so we're going to come here, and look what I'm going to do. I'm going to lay this flat. And I'm going to go to those same, you can see through the pencil. You're going to go to the same little segments that we did before. One, two, three, around here. All right, and that just makes it look a little bit more realistic instead of a flat stump. But hey, listen, you want to do a flat stump, you can do that too. All right, so see, I'm filling it in. All right, now, now let me show you this real quick and then you can go do it. I'm gonna take and side load. This is side loading. You're gonna lay it flat and you're gonna pick up a little bit of black. Can y'all see that up close and personal? Little bit <laughs> of black. All right, now look what happens. If I lay this flat and I pull it up, this is blending and shading with just a little bit of stroke here. All right, so we're gonna make just a little bit of dark accent on here and then leave it alone, all right? and that just gives you a little bit of shading. All right. <clears throat> so also while I've got this black, I'm gonna come around here and I'm gonna clean up just a little bit. But when you clean this up, I want you to look at this real quick. So see when I, everybody stop for just a minute, a minute, a minute, a minute, and see what I'm doing. See, I'm gonna go around, all right? And then you're gonna go like this and brush it right into that color. See that? So just don't make a flat, big stroke, blend it in, all right? 
So I just clean up on the bottom with brown or black just like that. And so that's our finishing touches here. Also, you can take and splatter some fun paint on here at the end if you want. But I think what I love most about this is the background I got. And y'all saw that was so hard, wasn't it? It was just so hard. Okay. All right. So we've got a pumpkin. Now I'm going to come do one little thing. Let's clean your whole brush out really good. Rake it on the bottom of your basin and get all the, the color out. And we're going to dry it really good. So are you doing okay? All right. <laughs> Shayla? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> hey, listen, your pumpkin doesn't have to look like on my pumpkin. And you know what? Your friends are going to go, oh my gosh, that's a pumpkin. Sure. Right? You're right. Thank you. Right? I tell people, when you get home, you're going to put it there, and the, the painting fairy is going to come in the morning and go, <laughs> dang, I'm good. Look at that. All right? Because you won't have mine to look at anyway. It'll be good. Right? Yeah. So can we see everybody's pumpkin before you start the sunflower? Oh, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to okay. shade a little bit oh, on we're the pumpkin. Shade. And okay. Then, and then go around and look real quick. Got it. Okay. We're All right. Shade. Let me just show you, show you this, and then y'all can go look as everybody. I'm going to come in here and get a little bit of white. Now you have to be careful. Maybe I'll put some yellow. <laughs> Where's the yellow? I'm gonna put a little bit of yellow and, and white, okay? I also have a basin I didn't show you. My basin keeps your brushes good. Okay, see that? All right, now watch what happens. Can we see this up close? Yeah. I'm just gonna come here and I'm gonna stroke a little, look at this, very lightly, some white accent. See that? You bear, like a feather, you barely touch it and you leave it. See how that just adds a little bit? You make it look so easy. That was your three-quarter flat brush, okay? And you're going to use that three-quarter flat brush just to stroke a teeny bit of glare like the light's hitting it. All right, but do you have to know where the light's hitting it? No. You just have to do what we did and it looks good. All right? So now go look at everybody's while I'm getting ready for sunflower practice. Yeah, so check out everybody's pumpkin painting. How's it going? Good. Libby and John. Are you a first time painter? Of course. Of course. I mean, it's perfect. Angela. Yeah, we have a full house here tonight. So everybody out there watching, we are live with Donna Dewberry, Paint Night with Plaid, and we are painting pumpkins and sunflowers, trying to get in um, the mood and the season for fall, wishing some cooler weather, I think. Everybody here is Jesse, who teaches our paint nights a lot of the time. She's actually painting in the audience tonight, so a different role for Jesse. Yeah. She gets to enjoy and relax tonight, and I hope everybody that's tuning in is painting and relaxing, whether you're doing it alone or you're with your friends and you've got your favorite beverage and you're um, just being creative, and Donna's making it so easy for everybody. If you've never picked up a paintbrush before, if you're an expert, it's so fun, and it's, it's just a really great experience to do a folk art one stroke. I know, it's fun. And what I want you to see is I'm going to take our liner, see this liner brush? And I want to go in here and grab some of that green and just add a little bit of water, just a little bit. I usually make it inky, but we're just thinning it. Then you have to roll the brush. It's like an ink pen that holds paint in it, okay? Now you can do this. You can practice with a pencil or whatever, but I'm gonna pick this up a little bit. This will not pick up for me tonight. It suctions to the table. Okay, now look what happens. See my little finger, all right? See that little finger? I'm gonna put that little finger there and look, I'm gonna curve and make three big or two big or whatever. <laughs> uh oh, but let me show you what's wonderful. I don't like that. See, I don't like what I did. This is the beauty of one stroke painting. You can take and wipe it off with water and this has got a great finish. It's already dry, see that? It's sucked into the wood really nice. So see, I was able, you know, some people think, oh no, I gotta paint green over that and I gotta make it all nice again. But look, I wiped it off with a wet paper towel or I wet it with my brush and there we go. How fun is that? Okay, now I wanna teach you a stroke for sunflowers and I would love you to practice. Now look, this could be fine like that and, it, and you could be done or you could take and add my sunflower to it. So I want to show you how fun and easy this is. I'm going to take a little bit of brown and 
and dab the center of a sunflower with my 12 flat brush this is bark brown okay I'm gonna come back with a teeny bit of black because you don't want to OD with black all right now everybody watch real quick we're gonna come around with black here all right so I have brown on the outside black there and then I'm gonna take this brush and we're gonna go in between here and I'm gonna put a little bit of orange in my sunflower we're gonna come right here pick up a little bit and go back and forth right here now I, I don't need to come over here and work it in we don't need to do that because we want a lot of paint all right so I split my brush see and pick it up or you can do your foam plate now watch what we're gonna do we're gonna touch this center push down really hard and pull out to a point okay see the streaks the streak makes it look like a real sunflower all right so I need to put it up closer there we go all right now watch me do this I'm gonna touch right here I sound like I'm ordering you around <laughs> that's what happens with seven children I'm the mama okay so we're gonna pull it out now do this now watch this I've got eyes in the back of my head I know what you're doing all right so see this now look I just kick fresh paint every time I go back away from the this paper here so look I'm gonna touch the wet because we want to pull that in push down and pull and then turn 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 to a point all right so you have to not lay your brush down you have to have your handle straight up and down and so this is the hardest thing I'm gonna show you but look it's not even hard we're gonna push down and we're gonna stand up to a point all right so I want you to see that you can do these with yellow and red you can have red to your pumpkin I'm telling you they're doing aqua and white pumpkins everywhere with bright green stems so think about that make it match your decor in your house see this right there so we're just practicing and you want that shading in it because it blends shades and highlights like you know what you're doing how cool is that okay so you can go right back any stroke that you don't like with one stroke you're gonna pick up more paint and you can go right back over that all right so you don't have to wipe it off you don't have to have people have q-tips by them and stuff but we're just going to do it right on our piece now practice you do need to practice that a little bit but i'm going to i'm going to put it on here so you can re-watch this i'd like you to do it with me some of you but if you want to practice a little bit more you can practice right on paper all right and how are we doing out there What's everybody doing? I'm just checking what everyone's saying. So we've got people painting with us. And you can, of course, you can watch it after. You can replay it. So if you're not um, able to paint along with Donna right now, you can go back and watch the Facebook Live after on Plaid's Facebook channel and also on Plaid's YouTube channel. So well, Plaid Crafts, you're going to be able to replay this video. And we also have a whole library of on-demand paint nights that you can check out all our paintings i saw oceans i yeah, saw all kinds of all cactus kinds. And, yeah okay and a llama too Did I see there a llama? was a llama <laughs> yes okay i still have time right you're you're good okay it's so let's do let's practice that pedal again all right so th the good thing about this pedal now let me put the base i mean the double loader here too all right so i'm picking up the two colors now the good thing about this i want you to see something all right let's come right here we're going to push down and we're going to slide and then turn 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 and end on a point okay that's not a great point because it's better when you're quick all right push turn lift now i have guides that you practice right on top of but this is what i'm going to sh share with you that if you have a line here and i do a t see that t okay so look what happens you're gonna stand up right on that line with the chisel this is your chisel so you stand up right there you push down all right to blend shade and highlight you have to have pressure if you're standing up here going like that you're not going to get anything see that so look what happens if I put these two and I push slide turn 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 on that T and right there that's the point when you go like that so you're pulling out the wet brown paint which it gives you streaks but let me show you what happens if I do those same that same stroke with the green that I just picked up what is this what is that it's a 
leaf. It's a leaf. <laughs> okay, so when I used to have a warehouse where we did mass production, and I have all my friends came and they painted in the warehouse with me. And what happened is that when they first start painting, I make them do sunflowers because they do so many of these that these petals that when they get through, they're able to do leaves like really good, okay? So that's how easy that is. So you can actually come in here and do some leaves and change the whole look. Okay, do we not have any questions? Are y'all just watching? <laughs> Yes, and actually we do have some questions. People are asking where they could buy all this um, paint and your supplies. So you can check out all these supplies are available on Amazon.com. So you can get all the folk art one stroke brushes, the double loader, the palette, the water basin, and of course folk art multi-surface paints. So check that out on Amazon. Um, and in the event listing, we have the whole list of paint colors and supplies that you need to complete this painting. Which so I go ahead and really check awesome. that out. Yeah. And so I want you to know, I, I have teachers out there. If you ever want to become one of my teachers, you can go to onestroke.com and find the teacher and you can find out how to become one of my teachers because we need you guys. Lots of people are watching us on HSN and getting excited about our, our one stroke. And this is a way for you to have fun and create yourself like create with me i'd love for you to create with me so l let's go paint this on our piece you think you're ready you practice a little bit and just practice it does this is this is a stroke work and stroke work is just just imagine you can draw out a pattern which we usually don't have to but if you want to draw a pattern you're just filling in where those spaces are so you can you can take i told you you don't have to be able to draw to be able to paint and you saw me today you can take a bowl and make a circle you can come in here right now and start right now doing this sunflower so what i'm going to do right here is i'm going to put this brown see we're going to have brown right here and see where I was so lumpy, I don't have to worry because look, I'm gonna put this brown right here. Y'all can't see that very well, so let me put it up higher. Can y'all see that? See where I'm putting the brown? All right. And before I put the black in here, I'm gonna leave this brown on my brush. Everybody with me? And I'm gonna pick up some yellow and I'm gonna grab with the brown instead of the orange, look at that. I'm gonna grab this, push, turn, and slide. And if, see there's a big ridge of paint, I can pick that up. Donna, what size brush are you using? Somebody this, has a question. Okay, I'm sorry, this is a 12 flat. 12 flat brush we are using to make the sunflower petals. There you go. So now I'm using yellow with the brown in my hand that's already in my brush. But see, I can make it fatter if I want. See, I'm gonna go back twice, all right, and just ask me I, I, I'll talk the whole yeah, time. Yeah, <laughs> it's somebody said I hear whispers so maybe they didn't hear me so Donna is using a 12 flat brush to create the sunflower petals. Yes. So that was a question. Okay now see I'm just taking this 12 a three-quarter would be too big for what we're doing here all right and now I'm gonna come up grab a little bit of that brown and with some yellow and have a few pieces up here now see, I messed up my middle, but I have a system, okay? All right? All right, I messed up the center, but let me tell you what happens. All you have to do is come back with the brown. Tap, 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 tap. All right, I'm used to grabbing that camera and pulling it down, I'm trying to behave. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna come up to the camera, okay? So look, I'm gonna pounce the center with the corner, I'm using the corner of the 12 with the color in there, and so you can just put a little bit of black there, or you can come around and put a few little dots along here. So make it fun for you, and the more brushy, brushy, loose it's brush strokes, the, the more artsy it looks, and it doesn't have to be perfect, perfect, it doesn't have to be like everybody else's, And but I want you to enjoy and let it be yours. When I walk around Platt, I see so much art around here, and it's amazing that the the way that I watched Katie's office today and her little cubby and all her beautiful work, and I'm like, oh my gosh! And she did stuff that I thought that is really hard. All Katie's right. back here blushing. <laughs> <laughs> Katie's in the audience painting. Oh my gosh! Say hi, Katie. <laughs> 
Okay. So I have another question okay. from someone, and they want to know if you have any tips or tricks. Their paint is mixing, and it's not like a double color. Okay. So if you if you over this is what happens. Let me show you. Yep. Okay. So what happens is that when you pick up paint, you've got to keep your paint separate. So that's why I use this double loader. If you have a foam plate, you can do that. You saw me on a foam plate, okay? Now I'm picking up paint. I come here and I work it in, all right? Now, the first time you work it in, it turns to mud and it's like all one color almost. But this controls you, making you stay in there, okay? So then I'm gonna come over here. Now I'm ready to pick some more up, okay? So now I'm ready. Now the inside of the brush is loaded, really blended all good, because I showed you how. This is the whole key to it being successful, okay? So now look what happens. When I'm pushing down, I, you have to put pressure, and when you stand up, look at all the shades. You go from light, medium, dark. And that's all about how you load the brush. So that's why I made these fun tools. I made it simple and easy for you to be able to do that. But if you don't have pressure, let me show you. We're going to pick up two colors. All right. So then when you come across here, well, that's not supposed to look good, but that still looks good. <laughs> it's because you're Donna. <laughs> no. Okay. So look, if I, put, if I don't put pressure, I forget what I'm doing. I'm going to just stand up and go like this. And that looks like nothing. But if you take, look, if you go like that, they're just two colors that are not blended. But look like the same thing, if I put pressure, you get a nice blend. Push, stand up. That's with that three quarter brush, but we're not gonna do sunflower petals with that brush. All right, so we have some pretty, pretty sunflowers out there. Yeah, and I hope that that helped <laughs> Claudia. <laughs> Oh, look at you. So the only thing, uh, Shayla, if you just pull it to a point. Okay. Yeah, if you pull <laughs> it to a point, because you kind of, st you went flat, kind of. You did it perfect, and you just got to stand up, stand up, stand up, okay. like right up to the tip of that brush, and then slide. So most people push down, turn, or, and just stop, all right? You stopped. So don't stop. You got to keep going, yeah. all right? Let me show you. We're going to push down, yes. slide turn all right and then lift that's what you are doing you don't want to lift you want to turn I have one of in my living room. and you're going to slide to a point so push turn don't lift push turn slide to the point now this is what i want you to do i want you to make t's with that 12 and this is the key watch this I'm glad we have a few minutes because that's good. Look, yeah. you're going to lay the brush right there on the line. You're going to turn, 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 turn that brush to that line and slide down that line. So practice with a T. And I have another one. You want to know another one while we're here? A crooked T. All right. So there's a crooked T. Oops, I did that backwards. Let me do it this way. I can show you better. See the crooked T? All right. Now look what happens. You're going to lay this brush on the crooked T and which corner? Well, which corner is closer to that end of the T? The yellow. So, exactly. So you just slide the yellow, and that is called a slider leaf, okay? So we're going to go just like that and pull a stem. So, so there, you're going to practice these with the center of the sunflower, see? Practice it right, pulling away from the center, and then practice our T, all right? There's the T, see that? And you can do that at home without a worksheet in front of you. You can do that. And we just have a bunch of you guys got kits on HSN and with lots of worksheets on them. So, and we're coming back. So be watching for us. We're excited. Yeah. So all the paints, you're going to love the paints. You don't have to seal them. You can use them indoors, outdoors, on glass, mirrors, ceramic, what? Paper mache, wood. wood. Everything is multi-surface. What does that tell you? We're doing pillows. We're doing those little inexpensive pillows from Ikea and we're painting paint this pumpkin on the pillow this will be so fun and we have paints for fabric too you can use this but it's not washable like you'd wear it like that I know you can you can our fabric paint is washable okay mm -hmm. no yeah. I'm saying multi-surface oh, multi yeah so multi-surface you can do but it's more like you wouldn't wear it as much but our multi our um, fabric creations what is that yep. not true? Fabric creations? Yep. Ink. So, so tell us what we can do on fabric. 
So I would recommend Fabric Creations if you're going to put it on fabric and uh -huh. it's very soft and it's washable. We do recommend that you hand wash if it's something that's handmade, but check out Fabric Creations. You can check that out on Plaid Online and it's also available on Amazon. And that's a great segue because a lot of you are asking where can you buy these awesome products that Donna is painting with tonight. So you can find all of the folk art one stroke products that Donna's using, the brushes, the double load the basin and the palette and also the focal multi-surface paints available on Amazon so if you are looking that's where you can find them and we would love for you to get them and paint pick of the patch and go ahead and post your painting with hashtag paint with plaid so we can like it and see what you're creating out there because this is really exciting and easy and beautiful and it'll get you in the mood for fall yeah, it's fun to have you guys paint with me tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And <laughs> just thank you. Yeah. I'm going to. Yeah, gonna and I want to say hi to, we've got Colleen and Amy and Leslie and Connie. And I can't get to everybody, but thank you everybody for tuning in and painting with us. This thank is you. such a treat. Well, I appreciate you guys having me. This is a great opportunity to have some newbies out there painting with us. And I love sharing it with the uh, people here at Plaid and how much fun we're having. And we have the best product. So enjoy. Yeah, are we done? Are I we complete? Know. Do you need to sign it? You absolutely Make it need famous? to sign it. And also, I'm telling you guys to do the edges, okay? We're going to go around and do the edges. And you've got fun projects coming out next. So, onestroke.com, go to Donna Dewberry um, YouTube and see some more of my lessons and have fun with us. More plaid products. Yeah, and thank you again, everybody, for joining us. I want to give you a sneak peek. We have another special paint night with Plaid on October 4th. So join us. We are doing our first ever little kiddo paint night. So we're getting the littles involved because Halloween's such a fun holiday for them. And there's so many creative things that you could do with them. So we're going to be doing Martha Stewart's multi-surface paint with the kiddos and we're going to be painting pumpkins and treat bags so maybe donna will join us for that with one too yeah, yeah. Babies. <laughs> so thank you everybody for joining us check out more inspiration and donna dewberry and information about folk art on plaidonline.com check out our library of paint night videos on our plaid youtube channel and on facebook Hashtag your paintings with paint with plaid and we will see you next month. Thanks everybody. Bye. Bye.